once again you're back with freckles aka aries diamonds aka insta dimensional poet and i'm here once again with the one and only trap king form and there's only one trap king in the world man the youngest in charge gtpc op entertainment all day every single day what's good fact so we've got a few quick fire questions just to wrap things up with Hit and me. cool uh, the first one is who started circle of bosses me my boy spa and carter diamond my brother and how i mean who are these people i mean we know your brother's your brother i mean carter diamond these, i mean these, 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 these are guys that i grew up with since i was uh, right. well, since i was in primary school and everything like that i met carter when i was a little bit older i've known spa since i was around four years old um the object you know like spa's done a lot to help a lot of musicians in the uk anyway to come up like a lot of a lot of guys the this current situation of the uk industry is always changing forever you know what i'm saying but at the time when spa was doing his thing a lot of musicians was taking his flow and all of that and just growing with it growing with it you know but at the time music wasn't spa's main thing however right. like just just even that, like he has the skill of finding talent and helping talent and helping guys get to the next stage. Same thing with Carter Diamond. Carter Diamond is a businessman that has a lot of investing opportunities and he just wants to give back to the community. He loves the, he loves where he's from in Watford. Big up guys in Watford and anything like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, big up South London, where I'm from. And big up that, Nairobi, big up Kenya, 254, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it, it, all of us, like we've seen how the game, how, how guys are getting played. Guys are getting played. I got played. Everybody gets played. When you go into the industry, I'm pretty sure even Drake got played. Everybody gets played when you get into this game. A lot of money, I'll tell you, I, I, can, I, can, I can probably say like 75 to 80% of this industry, whether it be in modeling, music or whatever, the money is being made from the up and coming musicians and artists such as yourself. Wow. Now, when you start thinking about it, I mean, like, Drake ain't paying for no studio sessions, man. Like, listen, who's going to charge Drake to go to their studio? Who's going to charge Drake to get to do their video? There's so many guys that want to get that, that plug, that co-sign over there. Mm -hmm. Drake just needs to show up to a show and he's getting paid. You know what I mean? Right. For these up-and-coming musicians, like, people, I've seen that like, the industry, like, they, they can be biased on who they want to work with or who should be the next one up there and stuff like that. We need to break the cycle. Mm -hmm. I want to show guys how to break the cycle, how to make a living mm -hmm. um, for themselves, you know, like turn from zero to regular income, how to make money and how they can survive off their career and make that something into profit, make it something into profitable. Mm -hmm. And that's just the main vision for from me, Spar and Carter Diamond is to give back to the, the, the community, get them out of this fucking um, pimped mentality which is happening by everybody you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying and just turn guys the ones who are driven the guys who are who want to invest in themselves the guys who are committed to making change and somebody wants a difference in their life they want an epiphany in their life those are the guys that are supposed to be in circle of bosses but we're, we're trying to we're trying to help those guys start businesses and build wealth and start companies that they can leave to their kids magic that was powerful, I love all of that. Second question is, how did it start? Was it a vision? Was it after a, an argument with someone? Was it after something that you gained? Was no, no, it after no, no, a thought no, process? No, 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 no. All of us, we have a lot to offer. Big up Brian O'Kemo. Um, he's one of our Big life coaches on there. Um, former CEO of, well, still a CEO of Phoenix Films, Phoenix Records. He's back, worked back. with a lot of other people. Like, you can check out his records. It's all there on the website on Circle of Bosses. Um, we have Mika as well. She's been on Coke Studio. She's collaborated with Neo um, on, on, on the show Coke Studio as well. And then there's me, myself. I've been on Nairobi Diaries. I've, uh, I've, I've, I've been on, a, I've trended several times. I've opened up for Rick Ross. I've toured in Europe with Mr. Easy. I've done my own headline shows. Like, there's a lot of musicians. And I, and I, and most import, importantly, I get paid for my talent. I get paid for my heart. There was a time when I wasn't getting, like I was finding it so difficult 
how am I gonna get paid from this? How am I gonna get paid from that? And I put my wits together, I built a team and we actively started making cash before I was even on television. I was making money from music. Now I can, if, if I can do it, I'm pretty sure I'm a strong believer that the next man can do it too. But maybe they're having a little bit of struggles here and there. My job is to show them exactly how to do it, where to make the right investment so they don't end up wasting money, which they will never see again, how to market themselves, how to get themselves out there and actually how to actually benefit from what they're doing man especially wow. these guys and these kids which are taking money from their parents uh, to, 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 to fund their careers like come on man like if your mom gives you like a million dollars and you haven't made nothing back like that's your mother she'll forgive you but like come on now this is a real investor like what the fuck that like, he's gonna be really pissed off so yes. how about you take that million but you can maximize on it like maximize on whatever you're doing like it's about knowing what to do with budgets no matter how big or no matter how small and yeah man i feel like it's better to learn from somebody who's done it who's been there than to learn from someone who's trying and who's not there you understand i'm there right 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 you know i've got one more question for you yeah it's about malaysia but i've come to that in a few seconds i just want to quickly confirm you mentioned rick ross what what did, i don't call my ears what did you do with rick ross uh, we had a show in Nairobi. We had a show in Nairobi um, with NRG Radio and Sprite Kenya. So, like, I literally got invited by my boy, Buddha, Buddha Blaze, Big and My People. He's a big promoter over there that brings a lot of guys from America over, like Talib Kuali, most therefore, wow. and stuff like that. So, yeah, wow. even when Neo even when Neo was in Nairobi, actually, um, he actually introduced me to him. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, he knows all of these big guys, like Diamond Platinum and all of that. He's an industry guy. So, like, yeah, he gave me a phone call. He told me, yo, Rick Ross is going to be in town. I didn't believe him. I didn't believe him. Like, yo, I want you on stage. I didn't believe him, bro. I wake up in the morning. My manager, you know, my mentor, Brian Okemo, he Big woke up. me up. He came, picked me up, took me straight over there. We went there with Sugar MC. Big up Sugar MC. Big up. Yeah, we got into a little competition over there. I killed it. Boom, I'm on NRG Radio. From NRG Radio to the big stage with the boss himself and after parties with him, thanks to Buddha Blaze, Brett and NRG Radio, you know? And my talent as well, because at the end of the day, if I wasn't talented, if I didn't know what I was doing, bro, I wouldn't be on that stage or big myself up the most, you feel big me? Big up, big up. Yeah. But yeah, that, 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 that was the setting with um, Rick Ross. And that brings us to my last question, which is, how are you finding Malaysia? Malaysia, I love Malaysia. Malaysia is absolutely beautiful. The people are absolutely amazing. I believe it. Everyone should come to Malaysia, actually. Mm. Even if it's for a holiday or whatever. The, 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 the people are beautiful. There's so much food to eat. That There's so much life and vibrancy over here. I mean, like, it's... Um, I can't even find an adequate word to even express it. But, like, you know, like you can go to Genting Highlands. You can check out the Petrona Towers. You can go to the Batu Caves. You can go to Langkawi. It's a nice little island. You can either take a boat or a plane to. It's beautiful, man. I mean, I've managed to connect with a lot of people over here, make some serious connections, some great friends, do some great businesses. The opportunities are endless. So, like right now, since I've been here, I've been here for like let's say uh, I was supposed to come for one month. I ended up staying for six. That should wow. tell you how much actually you like the place. And how great I mean? Malaysia so, is. Yeah, um, yeah, man. Malaysia, beautiful place, great opportunities. Big up my friends, which I met, like Seb, Poozen, and um, big Claudine, big up, big up, big guys. Up. They helped me out with my videos and stuff like that. I've shot several music videos over here. It's absolutely amazing, man. Malaysia. Yeah. Travel all yeah. over Asia, man. Singapore, Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia. Just get the whole Asian vibe, man. Like, I'm, I've, I've been to a load, a load of countries, man. But yeah, like, Thailand, I mean, yeah. I'm definitely looking to come back, man, for real. Look at that. Said with a smile. Mm. Guys, thank you. Trap King Prone, thank you for having us. Thank you, thank you. People at home, check out circleofbosses.com. Www uk. UK. So yeah. I made a perfect mistake. He made the perfect correction. So, Trap King Chrome, thank you again for having us. Thank you for appearing here. And I'm Aries Diamonds, aka Freckles, aka Insta Dimensional Circle Poet. Insta Dimensional. Right. And I'm here on behalf of the COB. And you can check out my serious poetry on my Instagram. And yeah, power. Yeah.